Hello, this is Andy Knight, and I'm going to read a story for you that I recently discovered. It's called A Whale in a Fishbowl, and it's by Troy Howell and Richard Jones. Before I begin reading, I just want to say how much I love this book. That's why I'm sharing it with you. And I love how the pictures work so well with the story. The use of color just really adds to the effect. I hope you can see that too. So if you enjoy this story as much as I do, please, please go buy a copy or go to the library and borrow it so you can see the beauty of the pictures yourselves. It really helps to convey the story. Okay, here we go. Wednesday lived in a fishbowl. It was the only home she ever knew. The name was Wednesday because like the day of the week, she was smack in the middle of everything. Everything circled around her. People flurrying, hurrying, worrying. Traffic wheeling, peeling, squealing. Even the sun, moon, and stars circled around her everything. Everything but a calm bit of blue that lay at the end of it all. It was there if she lived high enough. Her heart leaped too, and she saw it, though she didn't know why. Mostly she would drift, watching the world go by, people and cars, day and night. Then she'd think about the blue and wish to see it again. She'd gather her strength and make the leap. There, the blue lay, beautiful. Soon she couldn't get enough of the blue. People said she was doing tricks. Ah, oh, they said, look! Crowds clapped, horns honked. Wednesday would leap and leap. Sleeping became her routine. But sometimes she'd lie along the bottom. She'd try burying her head in the sand. One morning, a girl in a paisley dress approached and tapped on the glass. Wednesday came close. Hey, the girl said. Wednesday gazed in her eyes. She had seen that blue before. I'm Piper, said the girl, and you're lovely. Wednesday's reflection shone in Piper's eyes. But you don't belong here. Wednesday blinked. She looked at her familiar shells and plants, at the starfish on the rock. This was her home. If she didn't belong here, then where? Piper was leaving. A woman was rushing her off. But before they were lost to the crowd, Piper called, You belong in the sea! The sea? The sea? What was the sea? Wednesday wondered about it all day long and all night too. What did the sea have that her fishbowl didn't have? Now she couldn't sleep. She scarcely touched her food. She no longer leaped. Could Piper have been wrong? Piper wasn't a whale. What did a little girl know? Without answers, Wednesday gave up on the sea. And when she did, she thought about the blue again. She ached to see it. So she gathered her strength, thrust her tail, and leaped. The blue wasn't there, gone, nothing, nothing but gray. Wednesday sank into the sand, her heart hurt. If she cried, her tears were lost to the water. Then she lifted her head. Maybe she hadn't leaped high enough she would try one final time. If the blue wasn't there, up, 
up Wednesday leap higher than ever before. So high, she leaped beyond the bowl. Her tail caught the rim and the bowl toppled over. Torrents of water gushed out. The water carried Wednesday down the avenue. Past all she had ever known, it carried her into the gray. But the gray was disappearing, giving way to something else. A glorious, breathtaking blue. A blue that went on forever. She plunged into it. She swam and swam and swam. She skimmed and soared, spouted and dived. She turned somersaults. She swam strong and far and deep. And for the first time in her life, she sang. She sang about the blue and everything new around her. She sang about Piper, who had known where Wednesday belonged. Here she was at last. Then there came someone just like her, who said, hello, welcome to the middle of the sea. I really hope you enjoyed that read aloud. And I hope you get a chance to read this book yourself. I just have a few more thoughts before I end this video. First, I'd like you to think about how Wednesday knew about the blue sea without even knowing what it was. What do they call that when animals in real life do that? Do you know? Lastly, I'd like to know what connections you can make to this book. There's no place with a big fishbowl in the middle of a city. But can you think of any place like that? Where a whale wouldn't have enough room to live a happy life? Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to be kind to animals.